Hey, 180 Drums, I'm Gunnar Olson. I am a touring drummer, I am a session musician, play with some bands. Big Data, Mike Snow, Fisher Spooner, recorded with Miley Cyrus, Goo Goo Dolls, Gavin DeGraw, Mother Feather, uh, this guy from down the block. Um, I also have an Instagram page that I run with my friend Drew Scholes called Play This Beat. Both Drew and I tour a lot. You know, it's hard sometimes to stay motivated on what to practice when you only have maybe an hour a day. Less than that, maybe you're in your practice space once a week. Maybe you only have time during sound check. Play This Beat kind of started where I would send Drew, I would set up an iPhone, and I'd send Drew a, maybe a beat I was working on that day. Like, hey, check out this thing I came up with. And he'd send a video back to me, oh, this is what I was working on. Or maybe he'd send me a video of his, his version of what I was doing, adding on to it. Um, so I want to do something similar that I've done on Play This Beat, where instead of just playing the beat, uh, I'm going to try to break it down and dissect it a little bit. I came up with this as a uh, coordination exercise. But that quickly turned into, oh, if you move it around the kit, it can actually kind of be a fun beat. For the sake of starting off, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of this at 100 BPM. And we can try it slower and faster at a certain point. Kind of a medium tempo. It's on the slow side, I think, where the beat sounds good. But as a coordination exercise, 100 is a, is a pretty, pretty good place to start. So the first thing we'll do is I just want to show you the pattern with the hands. There's the first version of it, which is a paradiddle. Now the whole time the hands are going to be playing a paradiddle. Um, the only real difference is where the accent's going to be. We're going to start with the accents on every first grouping of the paradiddle. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, 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 right. all done that a million times. Uh, I'm going to add my left foot on the quarter note. Now the accent is really what's important here. So the shift to the exercise in the hands is displacing the accent 1 16th note. So that will sound like this. So if we do two bars of each, it sounds like this. Three, four. Now right there, you could just practice that for an hour at different tempos. I'm still not that good at it. <laughs> um, but for the purpose of what we're doing today, we're gonna do, we're gonna add the foot. Two, three, four. This exercise kind of came about I was doing the paradiddles, accenting on the ones, and I added that foot part. I added the bass drum part. It sounds like this. Now that too, you could practice for hours and you know really refine. And while I'm doing that, I'm really thinking about where are my hands and feet matching up? 
because I don't want I'm, I don't want a lot of flaming. I'm really trying to think about keeping the accents really deliberate. So I thought, okay, that's that's almost kind of hard enough. Uh, let's make it a little weirder. So what if we displace the paradiddles, or one sixteenth note later. Uh, I'm gonna start it with the accents on, and then I'm gonna move it. So check this out. Let's slow that down a little bit because that's a lot of information coming at you. I'm gonna bring this down to 80 BPMs. If you can start to hear the one E and a two E and a three E, if you can start to hear that and feel that, that really starts to open up a whole world of just rhythmic ideas. So let's start accenting, same accents, but start moving around the kit just a little bit. So now what I want to try to do is I want to start to apply this as kind of a drum beat. There are so many ways you can start to apply this. I'm going to start with right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare. And I'm going to do just the first part, accents on the quarter note. I'm going to move it up to 110 BPM. All right, so I kind of switched quickly in the middle of it, didn't really explain it. And I'll do it a little, now I'll do just the second accent variation, just the B variation. Two, three, four. Now I'm doing all this with a remote hat. Um, I realize not everyone has that. I really like having the quarter notes going with my left foot to kind of center me. And something I'm working on over time is I not need that. You know, another way you can do that is using the rim or a ride.
So one of the things I hear when I'm doing this, I really like to feel where the hands and the feet are locking up and not locking up. With the first variation, right there we have the hand all by itself. Maybe on that hit, I might hit, try moving it to a tom. The opposite of that. So the ones that are sticking out to me on that one is, the first snare hit bounces right off a kick. So, so there you could do something cool like, Three, four. And I'm noticing the very last kick is with a right hand. So that could be cool on a bell. So if I start moving this around the kit, there's a lot of really fun options. So I'm gonna turn the snares off. Let's speed it up just a hair more. Turn the snares back on. We'll go up to 120 now, turn the snares on. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's hard. <laughs> Guys, thank you, that's it for this lesson. Um, it's my first kind of lesson. So it'll get better, I think. Yeah, just keep practicing, keep playing, keep, keep struggling. You know, if you're feeling, if, it, if you ever start feeling too comfortable when you're practicing, you gotta switch it up, you know? That's kind of where this came from. I was starting to feel okay doing the on the beat the accents on the core notes and uh, it's like as soon as something starts to feel easy, not easy, but doable, uh, throw a wrench of the plan, throw something else at yourself that you can't really do, you know? So yeah, check me out. I'm at gun buns on Instagram, uh, gunner and yeah, 180 drums. Thanks for having me. They have so much cool stuff. 
Jake, thank you. And um, yeah, I got some other got some other things I want to show you guys. So hopefully you like this one, and uh, we'll keep rocking. Thanks, guys. Thank you.